Alright, so guys, doing a little glove review on my three gloves. One of uh, I got one for pitching, the other one for infield, and another one for outfield. Um, my pitching one is like eight years old, so it looks like crap. But I so here's my pitching glove. It's this one right here. I mean, it's not bad, but like it has a nice basket web, so no batter you can see my pitches. And then it's it's a really light glove. So Wilson A250, um, GC892. It's like a 12 inch glove. It's a little big. My infield glove is smaller. It has not, doesn't really have a pocket. It's pretty broken in. Easily broken. It's pancaked now. I mean, it's it's done a lot for me. I used to use it for everything. Yeah. Um. Here's my infielding glove. It's conditioned. I keep a baseball in it, just so it doesn't pancake over like my other one. It's a Mizuno Classic GS12 GCS1201. Um, it's my it's a professional model. It was really easy to break in. I mean, when I first got it, I could only bend it to like that much. And now, if I take the ball out, I mean, I can or like pretty much go that far. Not easily but it's it's pretty good it has a nice pocket it has a two piece webbing um, I might go for an eye web and just get it released um, I like to flare my thumb out a bit just like that the one way I flare my thumb is just keeping a ball high up in the thumb and tying it like that and just keep it overnight Later on, it would take its shape and just like stay around like that. Um, I like this glove. My very first game with it made a diving catch. It's pretty crazy. Like, it was I. Right. Um, yeah. And then now, my outfielder glove is uh, about a, f a little, it's about a week old. It, I ordered it from rawlingsgear.com. It's a Rawlings Pro Taper. It, it was, it came, I got it engraved. And, yeah. It's this glove right here. It's my Rawlings Pro Taper. I got it engraved. Because that's my nickname on my team, Hollywood. And then, 13's the, um, my jersey number. It's pretty sick. I mean, it has some black laces, some cream laces. It has a nice trapeze right here. Um, uh, it was it was a reasonable price. It was only I think it was thirty dollars off. I forgot how much it was though. Um, the palm is nice. It's nice and deep for when I take fly balls. It's good for not getting too low on ground balls. It's 12 and one quarter. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. So it's a Rawlings Pro T Mark of a Pro uh, TP1225T. I don't know if you can see that in the palm. Mark of a Pro. It's a really nice glove. I mean, Rawlings makes really good gloves. I used to stay with Wilson until I saw this. Because Wilson doesn't ship in Canada unless you want to buy golf stuff. Um, the my fingers on my outfield glove, I don't like to curve them in or or flare them. I like to just keep them straight up. I don't usually wear my glove the same as everybody else. I mean, I keep two fingers in my pinky, as you can see, my uh, index finger goes diagonally. Uh, I, I like to wear my glove high up on my palm. I like to keep this open. We're like Josh Hamilton. Um, it was pretty easy to close from the start. I mean, I like to keep an arc here. So it does, this glove won't pancake. I mean, the way I'm going to break it in. 
Uh, this glove is my favorite glove I've ever got. I mean, it's, I mean, the engraving, I, if it was stitched, it would be better. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to make a lot of, like, f catch a lot of five balls. Like, it holds it pretty well. I mean, it's not bad at all. But, yeah. So, I'm looking forward to using a season with this. Because my team's out of the playoffs now. We went to the semis. And then from there, got eliminated. But, yeah, I mean, one of my favorite gloves I ever saw. And it wasn't expensive at all. It wasn't like a Rawlings Primo. It was like $3.99. Rollingsgear.com though is one of the best places to just get your glove. I mean, this glove is one of my favorites. Alright, so comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, yeah. Take care.